everybody that's in it and it's really really awesome to be able to say oh I have touch class practice today like I'm always excited to go there it's really changed my like view of acapella because I didn't know what it was before and I think that acapella is really cool now that I've gotten a chance to work with it and see it and see so many different groups performing it and Acapella is making music without any accompaniment, and that's what Touch of Class does. And we have choreography, and we split like eight parts sometimes to make the songs. Acapella is a journey. It's a big journey, and it gets really hard at times, but once you figure out yourself, greatest thing like ever. Hi, I'm Eric Watts and I'm the director of Touch of Class. Touch of Class has been around for probably 30 years as a group, if not longer than that. Uh, the group first started as a group called Sweet Sixteen with Charlie Garrett, uh, who was the director here many, many years ago. And the group then changed to Touch of Class under the direction of Mr. Greg Fox, and they were a madrigal singing group, more of a classical style. And uh, six years ago, when I first came to this school, we decided to transform the group a little bit and move in the direction of pop a cappella, and that's what we've been doing since then for about six years. Personally, Mr. Watts, I saw him as a teacher at first, but now I'm starting to like see him as like a friend and a person. Like he's a funny person. Like he's not just like, oh, you listen here. Like he's more than a teacher to like me. He's like a family away from family. Altos are the lowest female parts. We're cut into sections, so like Bailey and I are both alto ones. And then Sonora and Laura and Sydney are alto twos. Sopranos are the higher female parts. I don't know how they do that, but it's very high. And then the guys, there's bass and tenor, and tenor is the higher guys, and bass is the lower. Beatboxing. That's really cool. Well, I started beatboxing a little bit ago because I saw some videos on YouTube and I thought it was really, really cool. And so I started practicing on and off. We, uh, when we were freshmen, we were like, wow, that's really, that's really cool. I kind of want to be like that. This group is, is great. There's, there's nothing really that you can say other than they're a great, hardworking group of kids. We joke sometimes that uh, they, they are like my kids, and it really is true. We spend a lot of time together. And many of these students have been my students for six years, watching them since they were in seventh grade or sixth grade. They really put everything they can into rehearsing, into performing, and into being um, professionals who represent not only our music program, but also our entire school and our entire community anytime we go out and travel. So it's really uh, a pleasure and an honor to, to work with these kids. We're always together and we have ups and downs and we go through everything and we're still right by each other's side and I think 
being able to have that connection on and off stage helps us. You have to love what you're doing. If you love what you're doing, you're going to be dedicated no matter what. And it's fun for me to be able to come here and see everybody and sing music and make other people happy.